Welcome to the next tutorial. In this video, we are going to see how to install Drupal on CentOS 7. Drupal is an open source CMS software like WordPress, which is used to create your own websites. Drupal will act as backend for creating your websites. If you want to build your website without knowing any PHP coding means, you can use the CMS software to build your websites. By using this Drupal, we can able to create your website easily. So in this video, I am going to show how to install Drupal 8 on CentOS 7. Drupal 8 will require for LAMP server and then PHP version 5.5. So we need to set up the LAMP server with PHP version 5.5. To install PHP 5.5 on your machine, we need to enable EPL repository and then WebTatic repository. Now type this command to enable EPL repository. And then type this command to enable the webtatic repository. Now we can able to set up LAMP server with PHP version 5.5. For that, run the following command. Now type this command. We need to install all these packages to set up the LAMP server with PHP version 5.5. Now hit enter. Now the packages are installing. Wait for some time. Now the packages are installed. Next we need to start and enable Apache and MariaDB service. So run the command systemctl space start space httpd and then enable the service. And then type systemctl start MariaDB and then enable the service next we need to set root password for MariaDB so type the command mysql underscore secure underscore installation Now press Y to create new root password. And then choose the option Y for all the questions. Now log in to the MariaDB database. MySQL space hyphen U space root space hyphen P. Now here we need to create database and database user for Drupal. So run the following commands. Now type this command and then hit enter. Now database created in the name of Drupal DB. Next run the command to create database user in the name of Drupal user with password 123. Here you can change the name and password. Now hit enter. Next run this command to grant the privileges for the user to this database now press the privileges now exit from MariaDB next we need to download the package for Drupal so move to your document root cd space slash var slash www slash html now here Use duplicate command to download the Drupal package. You can use duplicate command to download the package, or else you can use it Drupal official site. Now the package is downloading. Wait for some time. Now it's completed. Here you can see a tar file in your document root. We need to extract the package using tar command. Type the command tar space hyphen x either bf space package name and then hit enter. Now it's extracting. After extracting, 
you can see a new directory is created under your document root we can rename the directory type the command ma space directory name now hit enter now it's renamed next we need to change the ownership for the directory so type ch1 space hyphen capital R space apache colon apache space the full directory path slash var slash www slash html slash drupal now hit enter now the ownership has been changed to apache user and apache group for this directory now change the file permission type ch mode space hyphen capital R space double seven five space and then the same directory path next we need to set the sns counters for the same directory for that run the command chcom space hyphen capital R T space httpd underscore sys underscore content underscore rw underscore t and then space the directory path now hit enter now drupal is ready for the installation just we need to open the browser now enter the link as follows now type like this here you can replace the IP address now hit enter here you can see the Drupal installation wizard now choose your language and then click save and continue here you can choose your profile and then click here and then here click continue anyway now here enter the database name and database username and password and then click here now here you can configure your site enter your site name and email address now here fill this all informations and click here now you can see now drupal is installed so that's all about the installation of drupal on centos 7 hope this video is helpful for you thank you for watching